The Medal of Honor was awarded today to a Special Forces soldier who saved lives during a six-hour battle in Afghanistan. David Martin introduces us to a true American hero. Master Sergeant Matt Williams and his team of Green Berets choppered into a remote Afghan valley in the spring of 2008. Their mission, part of which was recorded, was to capture or kill a senior terrorist leader. But nothing went right. To begin with, it was too rocky to land. It was a, about a 10 foot or so drop, you know, straight down to these giant boulders and rocks everywhere. Um, that's, you know, that's how the day started. And then it got worse, much worse. The whole entire riverbed started taking fire from, from the high ground. What kind of fire? RPGs, heavy machine gun fire, um, small arms fire. The enemy was shooting down on them from a village overlooking the valley. We didn't really understand the amount of enemy that were actually in the village at the time. The lead element was pinned down and taking casualties. So what was going to happen to them if somebody didn't get to them? Nothing good. They, they definitely probably would have been killed if nobody was able to get to them. According to the Medal of Honor citation, Williams braved intense enemy fire to lead a counterattack across a valley of ice-covered boulders and a fast-moving, ice-cold and waist-deep river. He helped save the lives of four critically wounded soldiers, although he gives credit to the pilots who flew airstrikes on the village. I hit it. Target, target effect. Target effect. Roger. You think he would have made it out of there without air cover? No, sir, no, not at all. The medevacs that came in to pick up the wounded also took fire. Hey, I'm a hit. I think I'm a hit. Williams was notified he would receive the Medal of Honor more than a year ago, but he said the ceremony would have to wait. We had a deployment to Africa, and you know, I really wanted to make sure that I was able to continue serving with the guys. So let me get this straight. You were too busy <laughs> well, to receive the Medal of Honor. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that, yeah. He's completed five tours in Afghanistan. Now that he's received the medal, the Army is not likely to let him go in harm's way again. You okay with being held back? I'm not okay with it, but if it's ultimately safer for the team, I, I understand that. Which is why for Williams and others who have received the medal, it is as much a burden as an honor. David Martin, CBS News, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And we thank Master Sergeant Williams for his bravery and service to our country.